Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Many of you uh, asked me to uh, show you how to flash the mechatronic units uh, with Odis. So this is what I'm going to show you today. So this is my uh, home uh, bench setup. I have the mechatronic here, supplying power, power supply, uh, connected to uh, with the OBD and the bus uh, 5054. This is the head I recommend for flashing, not the new one because the new one is crap and cheap and it will not work and do you only problems. And here we have uh, Otis. So I will switch over to the computer and then we can continue and, and show you what and how. So uh, this is my Otis uh, engineering. This guide is not about uh, installing or configuring Otis or whatever. This is uh, about flashing the units. Uh, first thing you will need to do is go into the configuration. Uh, let me see where was that. Uh, no, administration. And in the administration, uh, function configuration and flashing engineering. Here you will have to deactivate this one and deactivate version control because if you do not deactivate the version control it will not let you flash um, different software uh, than the one he thinks uh, you should flash in, in this hardware. So this is done. We will return to diagnostics and we take the Volkswagen fleet as the default. I don't care what uh, car this unit is installed in. We just want to flash it. So we go to the Diagnostic entrance, it's loading the Volkswagen fleet. It will try to uh, evaluate all my modules, but I don't want that. And I will just go directly to the flash. Double click the flash here and select the transmission control module and local flash file. So uh, as soon as I go here, it will. Uh, check my uh, mechatronic part number and software and this is the part number 0 AM uh, 30052K and the software number it's 6273 so I would uh, want to flash this with uh, with something else and then we go on my network drive so we go on my network drive and we take from the DSG7 and I will choose SGO and we just take one file this is just for the demonstration so the flash container has been loaded and I will just start flashing uh, do you want to flash the selected control modules yes if I go and see the details it will tell me that it's going to be flashed with uh, with this version We will have to finish until the process uh, has ended and um, then we will have to switch the ignition off and on again to see the, the actual, uh, um, to see the new uh, software that we, fl we flashed. So that should be all what you need to do. So actually the only thing you have to do is go into the admin uh, and then disable the, the version control. Um, and you should be able to flash any uh, anything. One more thing you have to remember uh, that if you flash on the bench you will need to put a resistor 120 uh, ohms between the can high and can low uh, because else you will not be able to identify the um, uh, the mechatronic module and you will not be able to, to flash. So remember put the uh, resistor 120 ohms between the can high and can low uh, and then you should be uh, able to flash uh, on bench without any problem if your cable does not have that from from factory or where you bought it or whatever so we will wait until this is finished you can see it's going pretty fast and then we will see the new control uh, uh, the new software version on, on, on the unit and now I have to switch the ignition off and on again. What I'm going to do is just remove the, the cable from the unit. 
and just put it back on and then press OK. The flashing is complete. I don't want to clear the DTC memory because it will take forever. And uh, if you want to see the flash log, you can see it here. Let's see what uh, it will show me. The old version and the new version. As you can see, the new version is 61K. If we remember, the old version was 52K. And the log results are like stuck. Uh, well, I don't care too much about the log. Okay, and that's it. So this is how you flash with uh, with Oris. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.